welding. I am super stoked to get into this fabulous maker skill. I've done very little in the past and so I'm in the process of teaching myself as best I can to learn to MIG weld. I just picked up this fantastic Hobart Handler 125. I'll put a link in the description. You can get this on Amazon as well as elsewhere. It's a solid welder with a great reputation and the little I've used it thus far, I am not disappointed. Now, something that comes up as soon as you start welding is trying to figure out where to weld safely. And one of the best ways to do that is have a dedicated welding table. That's a metal top stand or table that you can actually connect your ground and then put anything that you're welding on that metal surface, complete the circuit and do the job. It's fantastic for any number of reasons because it ensures that you have a solid connection, thereby making it far safer to weld, but it also keeps everything else from getting all beat up and burned from the spatter that inevitably happens when you're welding. Now, as I've talked about again and again, I have a very tiny shop. I don't have room for a dedicated welding table anywhere in this cramped space, but I can modify my workbench so it can serve as a welding table on top of the, any number of other things I use it for. This is how I did it. Let me show you around my new welding table. Okay, it's not exactly a table, it's a top mat stand. I don't know what to call it. I haven't seen anything like this. Usually welding stands are standalone things. Uh, this is not that, it's meant to go on this multi-purpose workbench that I use. And it works great for that. So this piece of quarter inch plate steel, I put a good solid handle on it 
so I can move it around and get it out of the way when I'm not using it. It's heavy enough that you can put a, a lot of your weight on it without flipping it up. So I could readily clamp things on the side just by moving it to the edge of my work surface. This handle here serves a second purpose. It's actually where I can put the contact. These holes I drilled in the surface, they're all quarter 20 threads. So I can use anything that's threaded same, such as these scent screws, and then use that as a mount or a stop. One of the simplest things you can do is take a connector nut like this, thread that onto the post, and use it as a place to mount your work project. In this case, a piece of 16 gauge steel. You can clamp that to your work surface and do your welding. Now, there are far more elaborate things that I've imagined. These posts are also handy to put these types of magnets. Now, these are cool. You can get these anywhere. I'll put links to all these parts, by the way, in the description of this video. Those can go on here either free or taking a washer and a wing nut, and you can lock those into place. And then those can be used to rest your piece on here. These can go up against the other bolts. You can use more of these handy little gadgets to hold your project firmly in place on your welding slab. <laughs> you have these clamps that can go on here. Another set of awesomeness are these angle pieces that are useful for making sure you things are set up square. All right, the best part of this thing and what I'm certainly gonna be using more than pretty much anything else, this vise. Now, you'll notice in the video that I took time to grind the enamel or epoxy coating, the paint that's on this vise, off of the bottom, the contact between the swivel base and the main vise, and the inner part of that that comes in contact with everything else. I did that for an obvious reason. You gotta have continuity from your ground back here into this. It actually stopped current the way it was set up. Now it's good to go. So that simply goes on right here. Quarter 20, just to keep it simple. Three button cap screws. One of the most useful ways to hold any project a vice. And now I have one dedicated for my welding. Highly recommend doing this. At the very least, get you a slab, something metal to work on. It's far easier to do when you're welding than clamping it on the workpiece. You get great continuity. You have a service that protects everything else. It's a win-win. And this can be pieced together using as many or as few of these components as, as you want. Hope this was helpful. Please tune in next time for more stuff from J. Robert Clark Makes. Thanks for watching.